Michael podcast. Bring it, friends. It's yeah. growth. We it's did really growth. well for the sound that we had. Well, dude, our because it was episode. just audio at first. That's all you had was the sound, and it was yeah, and mm-hmm. it was really not the best. We yeah. we struggled with that for a while. Yeah. Our first episode was uh, I put my dash. phone on the dash of my car, and I had Giovanni <laughs> King, who's a, a friend of ours. Uh, which apparently last night he ran into Ian. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. He takes up at like midnight. Like, I just ran into your boy Ian Edwards. Like, oh, okay. Cool, man. Sweet. Hopefully, I'd love to see both of them do a collab. You know who Ian is, right? No. Ian is a... Uh... <laughs> Ian is this vegan, skinny, British black dude that likes soccer a little too much. Uh, And he's just... What a hell of a bias. <laughs> that guy like. He's this, you start with vegan, <laughs> with a little bit of disdain. With a no, little bit of like disdain. Vegan. Like, yeah. He'll tell you. Vegan. He will tell you. <laughs> yeah, man. You don't like, even have to ask him. He will tell you. Because <laughs> he's like, you live in constant fear that somebody's going to like slingshot butter in your mouth or something. Like, you've got to let people know, like, hey, you don't come at me with animal products. I'm not having it. So, my body cannot. Hey, my body can tell you. If you get near me with sheeps, well, I'll die. Oh, God, dude. You know what I was thinking today? Cameron Johnson, by the way, is here on the podcast, man. Yeah. Cameron's back, finally, with, with video. Yeah, Better I looking know. this time so uh, people can admire your majestic beard. Good I don't sir. know about that, but all right, we'll take it. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, they brought us like, it's that thing where like you guys look better by comparison. <laughs> I think so, man. I think that's a, we have a large like crowd that of people that like from just for him that listen to their beard people. Yeah, like, probably, but uh, that's um, only because it's just why guys have nothing better to do. Like, just so he's like, so he's like, I get all the time, like, oh, you look like somebody I know. It's like, I look like every nondescript white dude you've ever talked to. Every guy, every white I was guy with say a beard, every, that's who I look like. Almost yeah. homeless person. <laughs> yeah. but I'm, I'm going to take the other route. Oh, yeah, <laughs> almost homeless, yeah, with that. Like, like if, if I was to meet you in the street and not know you, I'd be like, thank you for your service. Did I, <laughs> well, I don't tell you that. It was a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody came up and gave me a dollar one time. I was standing, I was standing out like outside of a building waiting for my friend to come out through the door. And I was just kind of like leaned up against the building. And somebody walked by and was like, here. And handed me a dollar. I didn't even, like, I didn't have, I was holding a coffee. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Why did you give, like, they, they gave it to me and then I just, Took it. Like, yeah, I, did. I, I took just, it. I was like, oh, I'm not home. I was like, okay, shame. thanks. That'll help. <laughs> just, You're lucky they didn't put it in your cup. Here you go. Oh, what was this? Well, I guess I didn't <laughs> have the coffee. Oh, that would have thought. been so bad. You know, yeah. I didn't think oh, about that because they like it had a lid and stuff. I didn't think that yeah. they saw the cup, saw how I look, went, oh, he's homeless. That makes more oh, sense he's now. Homeless. <laughs> thing that I've had for a while. So when you're outside, Eric going McElroy, the club, you are going to get yeah, you're going to get dollars like Eric, like a stripper. Eric's available for for psychological chats to help you solve <laughs> the problem. Like, I was like, I, to this day, I still like. Everyone's like, why did I get a dollar one time? And it's a funny story now, but uh, yeah, I didn't think about the copy in my hand. Gave that homeless vibe. Next time, just goes down there like an extra piece of cardboard and a marker, and just see what happens. That's the only thing of... I never understood about the. I can see see where homeless people get the cardboard. Where do they get the brand new sharpie? Uh, they buy it. That's you start. You're you start, homeless. You, you don't have any money. You have to come up with like, like four bucks. Yeah, it's like starting a business. You yeah, know? make <laughs> love somebody. You, you, maybe you, start get to, you started with a card and a phone on a dashboard. Uh, you guys oh, started with a phone on You pull your money together. You go to Walmart and you get like this. Let's get the big sharpie. Get the big sharpie. Yeah. Get the big sharpie, okay? just so you know. Sharpie and like a whiteboard so you can write message. Yeah, it's like a, there you go. That's what I never understood. Nobody can they bounce ideas off, off you. Okay. <laughs> and the whiteboard, like by the whiteboard, because yeah. then you can change your your change your best as much as you want. Mm-hmm. But you yeah. can make car specific. Hey, blue car. I see you looking at me. Pay me. A lot of people think that our our operation is like really high tech, and it's like I wish it was a little more high tech. It it um, is compared to the laptop. Compared we had. to the. Bro, it used to take 35 minutes to process an audio. Well, it had a crank, so you could <laughs> on it. So that's, I, that's I what... remember the laptop. I was, it, that's yeah. what <laughs> but that sound came crisp, son. Yeah. I always ran it through Audacity. I learned so much. Oh, yeah. But, we had to run it, through yeah. so many filters just to get what but, we had. Yeah, but now it's like I know about like these Sony cameras that are 4K with the clickers and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, now yeah. I'm learning because that's yeah. the next step mm-hmm. Um, to be able to deliver like better 
Better quality, man, to like put 4K on YouTube. That's a big thing. Oh, yeah. So the only thing that I think you would need to do that is just more lights. You just need more light because like mm-hmm. that's not a, a bad image, but it's just a little grainy because like mm-hmm. there's just not a lot of light. Yeah. And so if you put like a light up there and a light over here just to kind of like eliminate and also maybe just like a like a, like a small white light, like maybe a string of white lights or something. No, I honestly, man, I are do... you trying to fuck me? Are you trying to make an OnlyFans out of this, bro? Like, what is this? Like a string of lights? First I'm of just all... saying, you tried to get <laughs> it's called ambiance, yeah, unplatformed. <laughs> no, the uh, but like I use like you're gonna fund this with your wife on an OnlyFans, okay? So don't give me shit, all right. Okay, Cameron. <laughs> that, control. And instead, she's like, "No, nah, I'm going to college. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to college instead." Good for it. Or yeah, yeah. Cover, that cover for She's like, "I'm working my way through college." <laughs> I get it. All right. Shout out to my wife. She went back to college today, man. Good yeah. Her. Congratulations. Had, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, she's loving it. Yep. She's it's the only fan, so she's much more. Yeah, she's the like, only fans didn't sell. It was just pictures of me and my butthole. Um, no, nobody I can't really. Believe that didn't that. sell. Like, I you would think that it was how did you market it i think that was um hair marketing. puerto rican bum hole okay first of all you can't say hair. you gotta you gotta say you start out with carry authentic yeah hair. it has to be authentic it's puerto rican, puerto rican bum yeah. hole. you can try it again you can yeah. try it again a relaunch do a relaunch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep brown guys brown eye or something like that yeah see there you something go like you know oh, really something catchy I yeah can, uh, Come up with a jingle. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Watch me take a tequila. No, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go there. I'm what's, brown, what's brown in Spanish? Marrón or brown. Or brown? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Marrón. Yeah. It's Mar- not like you say maroon or brown, but just with a little bit of a tongue thing. It is maroon. It is fucking maroon with an accent. Just trying to flex that tongue. No. Bottom <laughs> or brown. <laughs> is this the microphone? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's how you say it. It's marrón or brown. Bro, I'm fucking no, goddamn. I know you know. I'm going to say, like, like you could have like, that's brown. But you didn't have to, like, roll the tongue and show off. <laughs> no, 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 the because there's a way to say it. It's, it's, it just depends. Like, in Puerto Rico, they say they say brown. I said brown. Like, that's brown. And it's like, wow, really? Like, I thought we were all brown. But no, apparently I'm going to go to Puerto Rico and be like, oh, shit, I speak Spanish. I didn't know. <laughs> Like for example, you might stand out if you just point you... at people going, brown. No, hold on. Brown. I'll give you a perfect example of how Puerto Rican is, right? How do you say parking in Spanish in Puerto Rico? Parking. Sure. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> how do you say how do you say the mall in Puerto Rican? The mall. El mall. El mall. Ooh, that, okay. sounds, that sounds fancy. I almost said yeah. El Mall because yeah. I Stop a move in your throat like no. you can't you can't look how I look and fuck around too much. You'll get labeled. You'll get like I, I don't know camp, you'll get labeled though. I'll attract the wrong audience. Like Yeah, they've come with torches and whatnot. Yeah. Probably, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tiki torches. Oh man. No, I, I uh you. uh that's funny. I I didn't Never know, thought I didn't know I knew Spanish until now. Yeah, well, that's that's like how they. That's not Spanish. Hold on, that's that's Puerto Rican. <laughs> that's Spanish. Puerto Rican. Spanish. Let me make the clarification here. There's okay. a difference. That's Puerto Rican Spanish. There's a huge difference. You're supposed to. Well, call... I did ask how to say it in Spanish. It's okay. Well, parking estacionamiento. That's how you would say it. Uh, the oh, yeah. mall centro comercial, which which roughly translated commercial center is. Center Center for Commerce. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's what it that's is. That's Mexican, not Spanish. Though. That's that's Spanish. <laughs> well, there's Mexican Spanish, and then well, yeah, they have their own colloquialism. I, I knew like Spain Spanish. and Mexico are different. I didn't know like Puerto Rico is also different. Yeah, huge Ooh, difference. Caribbean yeah. Spanish is different. Yeah. Caribbean, yeah. Caribbean Spanish. Caribbean Spanish. Yeah. Caribbean Spanish. Caribbean Spanish. And so Puerto like Rican if you Spanish. if you talk to somebody if you talk to somebody from the Dominican, there's a different accent in there, and a lot of people that like I've met interpreters that if they've like they're like, oh hey, this person's from the Caribbean. I don't, I don't, I can't really understand them, and they feel embarrassed saying that because they don't want to be labeled as like, oh, I'm, I'm racist or something. Like, dude, I've, I've had these conversations with interpreters, mm-hmm. and I'm like, dude, no, like, there's, there's no shame. Yeah, like I could say a word that you don't understand, and you're like, you know, like, 
Uh, yeah, it's like talking to somebody from North Carolina. You don't understand them, but you know it's English. You have to Google most mumble <laughs> rap lyrics and find out what the fuck they're saying. I get most it. mumbles. I do. Okay. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'm like, is this a different language? Cameron's like, going to start calling me. Richard, I need you to listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's Caribbean Spanish. It's okay. Caribbean Spanish. That's no, why you didn't good. understand. It's, it's, um, yeah. it's like a different, there's different slang, different uh, intonations, like a different accent. Mm-hmm. And Man, there's just there's like a lot of differences, and people a lot of times don't talk about that because yeah. they're like, oh, I don't want to sound like. No, it's okay to be different. Like everybody, like I had a case one time where they would call dogs chuchito, and I never heard that before. Sounds I, delicious. It's it that's actually yeah. that's that's what I'm saying. I'm like that sounds like like churro or churrito. You know, like yeah. it sounds like yeah. like a food. And I was like, let me make a clarification. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, puppy. And I'm like, oh, I'm glad I clarified that. Yeah. Because that would have been terrible. And that's the thing. Most people are, are scared to do that, dude. Yeah, it'd be like, why are you walking your food? <laughs> why did you rub your food's nose and piss? <laughs> There's something wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to take it to get put? Th- no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put it down. I had to put it down. Yeah. I didn't put my churro like, down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what we thought it was when we had to in Puerto Rico, they had these little little things uh on the side of the road or in front of bars and they called pinchos. No, pincho, pinchos. Pinchos. Pincho. Yeah, but yeah, we pincho. we I didn't know if they were beef or dog, but I ate it anyway. Beef. Is it beef? Pinchos beef. Oh, we ate it anyway. Pinchos beef. The sippers don't ask. Just we didn't. It. I didn't. Just... Well, dude, that's a that's a huge industry in Puerto Rico. Like that's a dog meat. No, no, no. <laughs> it's meat on a stick. Oh, okay. yeah, meat on a stick. Okay. Meat on a stick. Like, no, like, we're talking about like you being uh, like beef or a dog. And you're like, that's a huge industry. It's like, okay. No, no. Exchange vacation for a lot of people. Like, we're talking about Puerto Rico. Puerto uh, Rico. Not other countries. Okay. Um, no, that's a huge industry because like like food, uh, food in Puerto Rico is huge. Because you have to understand the number one thing that drives commerce in Puerto Rico is um, tourism. Mm-hmm. Like, sure. It's the number one thing that drives commerce. Okay, yeah. So when you have such a huge influx of, of tourism, like they don't have right now, um, dude, a lot of people like it's cheaper to eat out. Like I haven't been home in a while, but I remember like for a dollar, you could get a hot dog. To me, a hot dog does is not like what you guys do here in the States, like ketchup and mustard. A hot dog is like the bread, the hot dog. I put a little bit of mustard, a little bit of um, ketchup. Then I put the meat and then I put a little bit of uh um like it's it's very different like the way that we do hot you dogs. Just like a chicago you just dog. Just a lot like a fucking hot dog though you're like i put the mustard and some ketchup like, like here like that too you that's, just, that's, it's the exact same way that's, yeah. <laughs> that's everywhere like you go to puerto rico and ask for a hot dog and someone hands you something with like mustard and ketchup like i've been to places where they give me a hot like i've been to barbecues where people give me a hot dog and i'm like oh that's not what I was just expecting. But they didn't offer You're, you mustard and ketchup? No, nah, bro. It was you ridiculous. went to a shitty barbecue. Like <laughs> That was a shitty barbecue. So I hope these people hear it. Fuck those people. They, they were the hell of a hot dog. <laughs> grown adults over for a fucking barbecue and having hot dogs to begin with. Like, yes. Like, was this was this at like... At a minimum, it has to be hamburgers. Yeah. It was in the military. Okay. Okay, well then, yeah. It was hot dogs. Yeah, it was hot dogs. They didn't couldn't the afford the mustard or the ketchup. I get hey, it. Man. You can't say I've been to barbecues. I'd be like, it was the military. That's <laughs> it's like that's that's way different. Yeah, it was a budget. You it's a budget day. For a three gallon shirt with her fucking nasty ass potato yeah. salad. She's like, Karen, I remember, Karen, bro, I remember the first time. Uh, I remember the first time somebody made potato salad, because like you know I grew up in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican cuisine is very different. I know because you guys put the mustard and ketchup and then the hot dog and then, and the, then the, the and then we do it on yes. top. Yes. Oh, okay. And then the meat and then the meat and then the onions. The, the hot dog then, is the meat, right? Yeah. No, no, no. You put meat. What do you mean meat? You you put ground beef on it. Oh, chili. Gotcha. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, yeah. It's like, ground beef. Okay. okay. Like chili like, dog. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Yeah. yeah. And then you put uh, onions and then relish. It's called a coney. You yeah, it's invented a, a coney. Good job. Coney <laughs> <laughs> dog. Coney dog. Yeah. <laughs> Shit in Sonic. Like, you, know, you want to taste the whole I will change your life. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want a Puerto Rican hot dog. You mean a coney? Yes. That's what I meant. 
That's uh, a chili dog. You're a Coney chili dog. Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> you said it was way different with that bottle. Like, way, way different. We do mustard and ketchup and like what I'm saying is... on top and onions and relish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm saying chili dog. Good job, bro. What I'm saying is there's a lot of like little food trucks and stuff like that. Granted, there's places probably that are like that, like New York and all that shit. I yeah. get it. Mm-hmm. But it was like one thing that I, I like missed from back home was like the amount of like food carts and like places that you could stop to eat. And I don't know, man, there's something I love food, <laughs> obviously, you know, <laughs> but well, they had that the, you could eat conch. They had a little thing. Oh, yeah. They eat conch. We went on and... a cruise in December and I had conch for the first time. And nice. I'm how'd you like it? Big fan. It was yeah. super good. Yeah. 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 Good. That's good, man. Because, yeah, we, uh, I thought, I didn't know how to get the conch out of the shell. Oh, no, I had conch fritters, I guess. I, oh, I yeah. Well, like, we, we actually had the conch, oh, and nice. we tried to get the conch out of the shell, and you can't pull him out. And I did. it was a pretty shell, and I didn't want to destroy it. So I was like, I'll just wait till he comes out. He so never I, did. He just died. So I just you waited. You were just trying to make that guy homeless so you could have his, his shell? <laughs> yeah. You piece of shit. Yeah, Peter hates you. Just Peter because, hates he doesn't, you. Like, so, so we were going to eat the conch, but he wouldn't come out of the shell, and then he died. And, if and... we get a fucking email from Peter, I swear to God. Just, so, like, <laughs> I didn't know any better. I didn't think it was. I didn't know what it was. So we went to uh, 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 three different islands in the Caribbean. Like, mm-hmm. uh, we went to Bimini, and, like, they have, like, just mounds and mounds and mounds of these shells, like, sitting out by, like, restaurants and bars and stuff, mm-hmm. where it's just because it's one of their, I guess, main main dishes yeah uh protein sources yeah yeah and uh then like i swung around i found like two or three like good sized conch i was like oh cool and i was like, I was like oh you can't take this i was like there's just a pile of these like quit being stingy okay <laughs> <laughs> you told that to the i told that to the uh, people on the cruise <laughs> the feast. And there's piles of them over there i like because they're like oh you can't breathe those on the ship and i'm like why there's a billion of them on that. I, that was made of conscience. <laughs> and uh, I just, I, I didn't, I, I apparently. Do they smell like when they're stacked like that? Uh, Yeah. Well, yeah. So I guess yeah. Bimini's like a newer stop for, yeah. for Carnival. Um, uh-huh. And so it was my favorite island because it wasn't all like when you got off the ship, it wasn't all touristy. Like yeah. they didn't have like a bunch of shops and stuff right there just in. In your face. Yeah. So like we got off and we rented a golf cart and drove around the island and uh, I just had a grand old time okay that sounds cool that actually. sounds pretty cool yeah, yeah. Sound uh we went down to dope. gorgeous beach uh, uh carnival actually like did a bunch of extra shit because of my tiktok or whatever so i'm, I'm all supposed to i'm supposed to post a video for him oh did so, you get a like a like a deal with that and yeah. whatnot yep. dude oh, good nice. for you bro you how did that happen uh i messaged him said hey we're booking a cruise uh you guys want to help us out and they're like yeah come on and then so uh, uh they were super nice um, and it was like Carnival's oldest ship, which was my, it's my first cruise. So I've never like done it before. And I was like, Oh, this okay. is, this is dope. And then, um, it, we were on their oldest ship. And so their newest ship was at port next to us at one of the stops. And I didn't think there would be a difference. And then I saw this motherfucking ship <laughs> and there is a difference there. Like the other people just looked at us almost. I think somebody tried to give me a dollar, from the other, <laughs> but just for, just for being on that Carnival ship. Like they were like, Oh, you just poor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh man, they looked at you uh, the they same looked at way you they like... looked at Jack whenever he got yeah, the to Titanic. the Titanic. They looked at you just like they did the Titanic, like those poor bastards. Also, those those poor bastards. Their life boats. Like it was <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't anything like like that. But yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, but yeah, when we were going to get back on the ship, I was like, just trying to walk in with them. They're like, you can't bring those onto the ship. I'm like, you have to leave them there. It's like an ecological thing. It's like they have a billion of them on the island. Like there's. <laughs> Like yeah. I, I would do if they, if they were throwing Everywhere. those back in the in the ocean for like other, yeah, other conks conks? or you, yeah, yeah, is, is, is conks. Is it plural? conch or conks? Conks is plural. Conkai. I would have to con- Google it. Not be conkai. No. I don't. Know. I'm gonna like, leave no. that as a mystery. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna leave that as a mystery for now. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say conks. It would be because it's a it's a group. Sure. Yeah. I would say conks. Yeah. yeah. That's why I would say that's right. Yeah, I would say. I mean, English is my second language, but you know, it's. <laughs> See now he says. That. I don't think now he says it. I don't think Kong's English. I think that comes from somewhere. Cameron, just... probably fucking Caribbean Spanish. There, it's Caribbean that Spanish. Shit. It has to be Caribbean Spanish. It has to be. But come on, where else find a Kong? Yeah, my first language. <laughs>
Interpret, damn it. <laughs> Fuck no. Pay me, bitch. <laughs> I ain't cheap, bro. I'm like that OnlyFans chicks. It's like, you got to pay me, bro. Tell that, to, see. tell that to the class you're teaching for fucking three hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> I bit my I shot myself in the foot with that. <laughs> I get I've under I've underbid jobs like several times. Uh, and then oh, I get yeah. there and they're like, This was our budget. We can't believe you did this for this. And I was like, Oh, okay. That's yeah, no. I can't believe I did that either. I was like, Why <laughs> tell me? Yeah. You just well, make not, me feel I'm not gonna that. say That's the state. Is. Don't say the state, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we definitely uh Definitely, that's that's the fire alarm going off. You know, that's the sound of the laundry. It's it's just a drill. We it's do it all here, everybody. We do it all here. Cameron right now is doing his laundry, yeah, and he is getting a hand job under the table. Um, How you doing? <laughs> it's from the cat. Oh, okay. Um, the paw I, job. Okay. <laughs> all right. I hope it's both paws. Oh my god! Not no. Oh oh oh. 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 I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so, I don't know if you're talking about like plural. pod job and yeah, <laughs> so punks is plural and, and Carnival is a good company. Free plug. That's good, dude. Um, no, yeah, it, good. It, was, it was cool. Um, you should have gone to Barbados. Should have. Um, we know people there. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> 1900 of them. I was like, Oh, we saw you on the podcast. Oh, you know what would be crazy? This would be really fun because it's all in St. Mike. Yeah. Literally, it's like it's like 1890 something people that listen. I was as Steve was saying, it's like, wouldn't it be funny if you guys like call them and they're like, Yeah, we'd love to have you down here for a comedy show. We just take a group of people and they're driving us down <clears> and you see a billboard with me and Eric. I would be like, No, 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 this is too weird. We need to leave. <laughs> there should be no world where me and Eric, there's like posters of us. It should definitely happen, but like it's gotta happen oh. later on when when you've uh you know put up a couple of more lights. I think that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get more once we get more lights, then like this is uh dark yeah well no no i'm just a nice studio like it's way better than it was like the sound is fantastic i like your i like your this thing up here uh oh yeah that was eric who did that yeah that was eric who did that that way if we have to do uh because we have sponsors now like we have a, a bloom dispensaries mm -hmm. up here on the on the little bit of up north here okay like a couple miles from here on uh glenstone um, on glenstone mm -hmm. that uh they're sponsoring us and we might do like events and stuff like that with them so we'll Dope. we'll take that and like figure out like just to talk to people or record something it's it's a work in progress man there's so many things that like can i talk about the amount of beard you guys gave yourselves on the on those and neither of you are representing a, a beard like anything oh, like that god no not anymore bro no not anymore at and the, i, I at shaved the time my head, it was so. accurate at the time it was accurate <laughs> no it wasn't <laughs> he has never had a jawline like that in the last 10 years of his life <laughs> bull fucking shit <laughs> In the last four years of my life, motherfucker. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Bring your own buds. buds and listen to friends talking. I like it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's literally, person. yeah, man. I, I love it. I did a podcast on Sunday night, too. For, go? uh, really good. I get there. So um, it's for, well, I won't plug them on here, but. Um, no, no, no. By all means. Yeah. Uh, Reddit said it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, it's a guy to drop on. He's got like. Uh, 450,000 something people or whatever but he nice. uh does like he reads like stuff off of reddit and then talks about it or whatever okay so like i'm getting there and i'm like okay i walk in and he is also in like a marketing company so his setup is fucking like beautiful just oh, yeah i instantly walk because I, cause I just opened my media company so i'm like okay cool and i, I don't even have an office it's just what's like, the name of it uh mine yeah um Shit, modern solutions media. I don't know. I'm starting this shit. Okay, it's hard shit. to remember. Modern shooting. Yeah, I think modern drop the shit. Media. Yeah. I'm gonna drink on that. Okay. So, uh, but I walk in and like he's just like everything and super nice guy. And uh, I was gonna say you should uh, hit him up and maybe do each other's podcast because like super nice guy, really funny. Um, but like, I, see, I always have a hard time asking people to come on the show because our numbers are so little. And like, if we've only been doing it for a year and like, obviously this isn't like the most fabulous thing that when I see, like, especially you, like when I asked you to be on, I was like, I can't believe you fucking said yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I think that's the way most people are. Like if you ask like most people, one, I'm a comic. So like any, any chance to like get on and just talk with people. Cause, uh, I only talk to like three other humans on a regular basis. And oh, I feel you. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, I get that. 
Yeah. yeah. So like just just getting out of the house. Like you you could have been like, hey, do you want to come over and watch me fucking comb my cat? <laughs> and I'd have been like, yeah, I'll yeah, do that. Let's do that. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know if it's a euphemism, but yeah, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> time with other adults we can do that <laughs> well because I, I i moved back up to springfield and like seriously relationship with kids so like i don't have like a regular friend group that i hang out with a lot up here like in joplin i do but up here it's just like sporadic and uh when people decide to tolerate me so when you were like you want to come fight it's like fuck out of here yeah, let's do that i always feel like you're busy though that's one of the reasons why i like rarely bother I you i don't sometimes. know why i'm very unsuccessful i have nothing going on <laughs> any of the time i'm fucking around man dude well, i'm not like that's why i'm always like i don't know like i'm always like doing something like i we always I seem to have something going we on. always seem to like it's always man always because it just that's a weird brag after i told you that i'm lonely but it's fine keep going <laughs> You know so much. Yeah. Like, um, you know so fucking much. I, I know. Yeah, you things. knew about the light thing. So. Well, I just, I think. Well, he looked at us and he goes, oh, this is. Okay. Yeah. More this light. Is, all right. This is where we're, I'm going to get murdered. Okay. This yeah. is where, where it ends. Not Hostile man. style. I'm, I'm, no, not I'm murdered. Just, just stabbed, perhaps. Just but not, <laughs> not murdered. Just injured. <laughs> really. Like, we, we want you to feel alive when you leave because you were close to death. But uh, no, like the, the light thing is just because the sound in here is amazing. Like, thank you. I am. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Danny Gonzalez. He's the one who who did it. He's oh, literally yeah. the one that had the, the a, a thing that he would. He had the whole list we needed. He and had everything. everything. Yeah. But he, he did it. And he was like, yeah, you need better cameras and lights. And I was like, okay, cool. Save up. Uh, yeah. Well, we did get really good lights. I mean. Yeah, these lights. I was pretty surprised. Yeah, like, I was pretty surprised. Do, yeah, they're. Uh, do they get brighter? Yeah, they yeah, do. way so, brighter. So I would stand, put it up higher, and just make it brighter. Since it's not coming straight at you, that's the other thing I was going to say. Um, it looks like we're being interrogated. Yeah, like, that's how I want you well, to yeah. feel right okay, now, Cameron. Uh, actually, Cameron, uh, my name is Chris Hansen. You've already, <laughs> you've already tried to get me to like get out of your sex trafficking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sting. No. yeah. <laughs> Sting, not involved in it, like the sting. You were trying sting, to stop yes, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to say yeah, you're trying to like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Dude, yeah, it felt like it set up from the. Someone beginning. in that yeah, class is I gonna be it. like, so on your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you set people up. Is that how you do? <laughs> that homeless guy was talking about you trying to get him to hook him. Bro, that's happened. No, bro, that's happened because I used some clips. Like, uh, I interviewed a, a woman that I I used to work with, Lori Lundberg. She was on the show, mm -hmm. and. I, like she told some stories that of stuff that we had worked together that I was like, I was sitting like this the whole time. And Eric's like, so what happened? And I'm like, Eric, shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, and you we, guys recorded, fam? Yeah. <laughs> and, and uh, but no, there was no NDAs or anything. Like it was good. It was just like, I, I had a hard time talking about some of that stuff. And uh, dude, that episode. Oh yeah. It was like the first episode that had like 600 downloads. It was episode two. I was like, oh, yeah. shit, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I used that for like some of the classes. And I remember like one time I was teaching one because I have like multiple ones. I was teaching one and someone goes, hey, I got a question. I go, yeah, how can I help you? And they're like, so like on your podcast. <laughs> Fantastic. And as soon as they said that, I see the thing going podcast. Huh? Ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, oh, fuck, what's this dude going to ask me? What if I, I started thinking about all the things that we've done? And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, this is being recorded for someone to buy. I need to be PC with this. So on your podcast, uh, when you were talking to Miss Lori Lumberg, and I was like, "Oh, okay, this is a nerdy question." All right, okay. cool. Yeah, yeah. we're they were sitting we're on good. topic. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, go. I thought I thought I was gonna get asked. So like when you guys got drunk on this episode, yeah, <laughs> and um, you that cat jerking that guy off. It's <laughs> just like, all right, bro. That's probably why Barbados people love us. Because the cats. Lot. I don't think so. I don't think it's the cats. Are they uh, are they cat people? I don't, I don't think I don't, so. I don't know. It's how an do, island. I don't know. If I say how the cats people. get there. It's an island, and it's I think the demographic is like ninety percent black. Straight yeah. up. And uh, then yeah. recently, it's Caribbean, right? Yeah, it's in the Caribbean. Yeah, it's part of the yeah. South side. South side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. South side. Yeah, south they side. recently got rid of their monarchy. I think. I think I'm not hundred percent sure how it is. I got to sit down. I probably have someone that can tell us the history of it and whatnot. Like fucking Google, man. You can, well, but it's I need someone. You have you have a phone. You have, I can find that job right phone, now. Yeah. I do need someone, bro. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you're going to college? Did you like break shit down to you? Like, yeah. 
Thank you. You know what? I need somebody to really do the fact checking on the random <laughs> shit we say. So you could just. Get... No, that's, that's... He just recently started seeing this college girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My wife doesn't know about it, but. <laughs> that's so funny. This is the role play in Rico's house. So, uh. Do you want to A or not? Do you want to A? <laughs> Do you want a professor or like a or another student? <laughs> he ha- he has to be the professor. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Gen one from Pony starts playing. Yeah. What, what is happening there? It's fucking Why do you go off again? I have no clue what's going on right okay. now. It's... I have no clue. Eric, you want to go check that? <laughs> I'm, I can check that. I know Watch it's laundry. Table. That's all I can do. Yeah, like, like pause and then take like an intermission. And then start Sometimes back. we do it. If someone's got to use the bathroom and stuff like that. I was say, yeah, 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 hold on. Hold on a minute. No, hold on. Eric, go ahead and do your thing. Hold on. I'll say. Look where the bad man does. <laughs> Show me on the Here's dog. The do- Show me on the dog. <laughs> um, Cameron out here fix our lights and charge us $10,000, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. I told him I would pay him in Mexican in lap pesos. <laughs> in lap dances. I told him I'd let him rub my head. That was about it. I uh, was going to pay me in, in Puerto Rican food. <laughs> a recipe for a hot dog with meat on it. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. You're one of my favorite things in the world. So. And then he's going to just give you a Sonic. I'm just gonna go to Sonic. You're gonna Sonic. There you go. Yeah. First of all, you bring me a Sonic chili dog. We will call it even. Like. If somebody's like, oh, that's not enough, fuck them. You don't need them in your life. Yeah, They're it's, greedy. Yeah. yeah, I hate people. That's one in thing. In Puerto Rico, they, we call this a Puerto Rican hot dog. <laughs> fucking hate all of you. It's going to be, that's, it's going to be clipped and people are going to be like, all the Puerto Ricans are going to be like, that dumb motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> he does yeah, not I, represent you, us. You're the only one on the island didn't know that was a Coney dog. You, you do not represent <laughs> us. Dude, I, that's just to show you how much I eat out. But I think like uh, the Coney dog does come from like Coney Island yeah. in New York, which mm-hmm. um, I, they have a pretty good Puerto Rican population. Yeah, so maybe huge. they brought it there. And, and that's possible. That's then Sonic possible. was like, we're going to make this shit ours. That's Isn't true. Isn't it crazy to you, though, like how everything is like has like a trademark and all that stuff. But food doesn't really like obviously there's patents for food like yeah. cakes and stuff like whatever the fuck. Like well, cheddar, recipes cheddar not biscuits. actually. Yeah. Food. Well, the recipes is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. But like. Food in general, like it's so wild how someone can make something and someone adds like a little bit twist and then it's like, oh, it's completely new. Like I've always been, I don't know, I've always been fascinated with uh cooking shows and whatnot. My wife likes murder shows, so what is it with women and murder shows? Like I'm just so, like I don't know, dude. I'll tell you doesn't what doesn't she watch the one where the wife tries to kill the husband? She's watched that. <laughs> it's, what, it's called Snap. In my Snap, ex- that's my the wife used to watch it like she was taking online classes. <laughs> Taking notes. Like a notebook. Yeah. I'd be like, this takes an opportunity. Just colored it pink, it would have matched eventually. Half the time she's like, if she wouldn't have done that, she wouldn't have got caught. And the cop like tournaments are like, if you wouldn't have done this, she wouldn't have got caught. I was like, okay, you creepy bitch. What the fuck is happening? My yeah, wife. and then you're supposed to fall asleep next to her. Yeah. Yeah. No, then like like uh what's his name? Brendan Shop said, then they fall asleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. Yeah. Like, bro, I don't know about you, but I've worked in law enforcement and seen some things. I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> no, I don't. right away. No, not right away. Not with that nightmare. Yeah. I mean. yeah. You picture like, mom, like, like, when, like the nurturers, that sort of thing. Like a mouse dies. Like, so, uh, Kayla, if a mouse died, mm-hmm. she's like, you got to do something with it. And I'm like, you just watched five people get fucking murdered. <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> you were rooting for the fucking yeah. killer because she had had enough. <laughs> but this mouse, you're like, I can't handle it. All right. 16 people? Girl, you could have gotten 18. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just believe in me. You yeah. just said to believe in That's yourself. So funny. You just <laughs> had to believe a little bit harder. <laughs> Don't stop. Believe. Is there glare on my glasses? Is there what? Or glare on my glasses? No, okay. actually. No. 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 Okay. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm out here doing all this shit without doing it right, and Cameron just charged me ten grand and fixed it. No, no. like I said, it's it. it I uh, so you run a media company. Yeah, well, I started one. You no, know, you started one. Yeah, yeah. so that's so, how you know all this stuff. Well, I know all stuff because I started out. Man, uh, let me see if I'm fine. I like I started out making this shitty videos with. No, this is this is 
seven years ago making mm. like shitty shitty quality videos mm. everything about it was just makeshift and look shitty and then i would watch it and go why doesn't it look like better stuff and then i'd look into something and then i'd get a little bit better and a little bit better but this is like mm -hmm. seven years of of learning how to, yeah trial and error yeah and, and learning like the principles of it too because like with especially on the video side mm -hmm. um it it comes down to almost always on like the quality of the image the amount of light on mm -hmm. all like, no matter what like you have a 4k camera or a 1080p or a 720 if uh, there's not enough light all of it's gonna look like shit okay that I get that. That makes sense. Listen, yeah. learn. Yeah. Now all those people in Barbados are going to be like, we're going to go listen. Yeah, to this we guy. can see you now. We're we gonna go don't. This guy. <laughs> Cameron's going to get like nineteen hundred people from Barbados. It's, it's going like, to be like, hey, can, you fix, like can you fix my studio? Can you fix my studio? Watch out right there, Cameron. The yeah, we, we'll eventually get fancy, fancy cordless. Yeah, well, mics. the wireless. The wireless. <laughs> we're not there yet. They're close. We'll get there. We're man. close. These we're are great mics. Like. Dude, they're, they're, they sound they're good. super good. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're pretty good. For it's voice just, acting too, they're pretty good. You just yeah. have to I just have to get the padded thing. Yeah. You can actually uh make that if we get any of those uh Yeah, you, you get like your sound blankets are blocking my internet signal. They're what? So your sound blankets are blocking my I have no service in here. Oh dude, just log into the internet. What do you need to pull up? What are you trying to pull up? I'm just trying to pull up my Instagram so I can show you how shitty my setup used to be. I believe you. I know, I, but I really want to show it off. I, do. Like, I really want to. I want to show off my yeah. shitty work. Okay? Like, you my shitty it's, work? Not, it's not that. It just, I, I want to be like, I'm not trying to like play like the expert that uh, is shitty on anything. I just, uh, I've, I've started with no information on how to start or what it should look like or anything yeah. and then built it up from there. Cameron Johnson. Let me see. Not seeing you. I'm, I'm that lady, obviously. No, you me Park? no, you don't. Who's that? Is that your sister? You me Park? She's the. Uh, she's been on Rogan a few times. It's the lady that uh left North Korea. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. She's a. I believe, if I believe, if I recall correctly, she's a. Uh, she survived trafficking. She survived being trafficked. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I would. But she was in North that. Korea. She was in North Korea, yeah. and then she was trafficked, and then yep. I don't remember how, how she got away, but she wound up in New it's York. A, it's a crazy story. Yeah it's, yeah, it's like a wild story, dude. Like, like she ended up in China and all this other shit. Like, it's wild, like crazy to me. So this is me with a wrinkly ass bed sheet hid hung up behind me. Wow. Okay. And, and then I had the audacity to say, "Life for new YouTube set." Life. It's literally just a fucking a wink, wink, wrinkly bed sheet. Um, I don't know where the other picture. Yeah, are. we need a steamer. We need a lot of things, man. Yeah, that's true. We're doing better. Actually, we need to get off ramen noodles. Is what we need to do? <laughs> Why? Ramen noodles are delicious. <laughs> yeah, They're not when horrible. you have to eat them. Not when you have to. Eat I feel them. like now that there's light, it looks like we've been doing lines. There's of a coke billion here. people that would disagree with you. <laughs> a billion people. I've seen everybody take, in China. Like I've seen them take. China. I've seen them oh. take ramen noodles and they. Wash them up and do all this other stuff and fix drywall. I'm like, I don't think I should eat that. I have seen those videos on TikTok. He has a point. Like those are terrifying to me. Yeah. Okay. I, this might be another thing that I can help you guys with. Not everything that goes on the internet is true. What? Yeah. What? So that are you what? telling me this? That ramen? How dare you? You're telling me that megalodon is not a lot? If you mix uh, ramen noodles uh, with glue, you can pass drywall. But if you mix anything with wood glue and grind it up and mix it with wood glue, it will fix drywall. Anything mashed potatoes uh fucking grapes whatever you want to use if you mix it with wood glue it'll patch dry so wood glue could <laughs> fix my marriage i don't know what it's gonna fix she's uh killing the games left only fans to go to college like no i have a much? new dude no i have a new college oh, chick college that chick. my okay. wife doesn't know about gotcha that's, yeah that's what's happening yeah. that's exactly what's happening it's gonna be the name of the only fans it's yeah and then on the off days, he has a naughty nurse. Coming. Imagine if I got divorced and they used this clip in the fucking divorce. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would laugh. You look for pancakes that aren't even yours. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, we just we're gonna tack on a couple extra uh, fees. Just every ball headed baby be like, yep, it looks just like him. It looks just like him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Fantastic.
Oh, could you imagine doing that show as long as those guys did? Oh. Harry Springer and Mari. No, I can't imagine the, the person that comes back the 12th time. Well, it was like actors and stuff like that. I no, believe. I'm just, I swear yeah, to God, there's somebody coming back hired. doing like, this is the 12th time she's been here. I knew it. this time she swears she knows who the baby was. I said, I knew, two, I knew two girls that like, they drove down there, like, they got on the show mm -hmm. and they drove down there like knowing that it was like a thing that they yeah. were going to be a part of whatever. Like, but I guess there are some episodes where like they did just really surprise people. Yeah. And I'm always like, if you were like, hey, um, this Thursday, I need you to come down to do this the Jerry studio. Springer the Jerry. show with me. <laughs> Just kill her at home. <laughs> don't wait. Don't wait until you're fucking like <laughs> heartbroken. Yeah. On camera with seven. Steve Wilco getting ready to beat the shit out of you. Like <laughs> having a reaction. Hold on. Have you have you seen that clip that like goes viral like all the time with uh, the guys like, yeah, I know you fucked my friend. Uh, I bet him I bet him 20 bucks in a pack of cigarettes. Uh, that he like, couldn't. He's yeah. like, damn, guess I own some cigarettes. And <laughs> I was like, that, like they don't blur those faces. That kid's gonna live with that forever. Yeah, dude, he's gonna go to a job interview. Like he can't do anything. Yeah, he's like, well, it's like, didn't you bet a pack of cigarettes? Like I stay, stay calm. You can say that. I stay calm. I stay calm. I stay calm under pressure. Yeah. How many people saw the Jerry Springer? Uh, yeah, it's Jerry Springer. Yep. Yep. That's too different. Yeah. Because, like, it's on every single day now on some channel where uh, they need to fill a hole with sadness. <laughs> so, during the day. Yeah. During the day. Yeah, during the day. Yeah. During, the day. <laughs> during the afternoon. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, I was off. Nine points. <laughs> Nine wow. points. Nine million seven hundred and fifty. I don't mean to flex, but I've got viewers. more viewers than that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Springer. What is it? Sewed. Well, that's, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> that's okay that's okay but, yeah 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 oh god jerry it's go time <laughs> my favorite thing was the audience like when they would let the audience talk to them yeah like yeah i just want to ask you uh how do you feel about your girl like fucking your best friend and then like kissing you so, you know man sometimes in life you're just gonna dabble a little bit like <laughs> what like yeah. what the, the the like do you think you're gonna forgive them like no bitch i'm gonna go ahead and say premeditated right now what the fuck out of here you nonsense yeah i'm gonna forgive her i forgive her right now i love her nothing's gonna happen to her <laughs> absolutely nothing to I, my attorney watching i just want to like everyone's well just to say like yeah i love her i'm gonna stick with her just just one time this is a little wing just, just a little wing just like yeah you know <laughs> Because you know they have life insurance. And later, <laughs> and later that night, the glove did not fit. Like I, it's like you were in a car wreck right after Jerry Springer. Oh my God, are you okay? Before, I am, but <laughs> you didn't really know that it was fake. Like before the internet, you were like, "This shit's crazy." Like, Bro, I you see yeah. it in Puerto Rico, and I was like, "Wow, white people are wild." <laughs> was Jerry Springer in Puerto Rico way way different? No, it was like the hot dogs. No, like. <laughs> Was it no. Springer? Is that what no? It? So we had we actually had the no, the female Jerry Springer, um, Lori yeah. Povich's sister. Jerry, no, 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 with an eye. It was Jerry an Springer eye. with an eye. No, 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 no. Eye. It was a uh, Doña Laura. Hold on, Doña Laura. Laura. Yep. There you go. Donna, Donna Laura, Laura, motherfucker. Donna Laura. You put little on yet over letters that don't need it right now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is an episode. Okay. My wife. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My my husband died, and I discovered he had another family. So they bring the ashes of the guy. Hold on. First of all, is this open source? Okay, we're screen sharing. So this is a roast. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, only you guys can stick with this. All right. Not well, that would be, wouldn't that be more like listen. Burning Man? Listen, you cannot make yeah. this up. Oh. Oh. Sometimes I talk with them. Javier. And and I'm Javier, explain to me, Javier. How can you do this? Like your wife. Like your wife. She's talking to the fucking ashes. Asking him. This was, this was my Jerry Springer, okay? Hold on. This is the best. I'm glad you got the fuck out of there, okay? 
I'm not, I'm not like a big like oh America's the best, but I mean this shit. That's that's mean. That is mean. You're yelling at a corpse. You're basically yelling at a corpse. I mean, that is our Jerry Springer. Dead. Oh, man, I've never seen Jerry Springer. Yeah, I've seen I've seen People on it, they couldn't get one out of them. <laughs> Doña Laura, Doña Laura was a. Uh, I think she, yeah, I can't remember where she was from, but it, that show was super popular in Puerto Rico. Super popular, bro. Like super popular. Listen, you know what the number one show in Puerto Rico is? Uh, it's a dude dressed in a doll outfit that gives gossip news about celebrities. I'm going to show you this, and you are not. This you're gonna think this is made up. It okay? does sound made up. You're gonna think this is made up. Hold on a minute. Hold on. A doll outfit. It does sound made up. It does. Hold on. You sure you're not talking about Bozo? No, like he, oh my, he dressed. Like oh up. Uh-huh. You've seen this. There it is, right there. <laughs> yeah. There it is, right there. Uh, yeah, I have seen that. First of all, you did. That's a puppet. Yeah. No, that's not. No, no, no. It's, a, it's an outfit. He's in okay. it. See it's, how he moves? Yeah, it's a it's a costume. You, said, a costume. you said outfit like he's in like a doll dress. Like, oh, man. <laughs> that's a costume. <laughs> so like... that's a dude inside of a doll. <laughs> Listen to him talk. I was picturing like Wilmer Valderrama in like a dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talking shit. Yo voy a decir Hold on. fecha con el hombre que mató. <laughs> that fucking laugh. <laughs> I love the fact that he like he held his face while he laughed. Like you're, you're, are, are you self conscious <laughs> there? No, that's that's what dolls do. What dolls do? Yeah, that is the that's most popular, popular show in Puerto Rico for years, bro. Um, so it's your talk soup. <laughs> right now, you are damaging Puerto Rico's <laughs> man, damaging Puerto Rico's like main source of. Uh, yeah, there's no more tourism there. No more tourism. No more tourism. No more tourism. Like, yeah. Okay, we're not going down there with the, no. the doll. Yeah, we're not going down. There. <laughs> the doll. I don't care if they don't have COVID. Bro, I don't want to hear it. The U.S. got some weird stuff too, bro. Like, <laughs> yes, just, but that's not the number one thing. <laughs> like. Granted, it's yeah. a tiny island. It's 100 by 32. There's 3.2 million people in a space of 100 by 32. 132 feet? No. <laughs> 100 <laughs> by 32 miles. Oh, mile. That's a ways. <laughs> yeah, three. I think Rhode Island is bigger. Like fucking Manhattan has like 8 million. So, yeah. And they have high rises. Yeah, and they those people <laughs> hate themselves, bro. They like, just have food carts everywhere with fucking hot dogs. Yeah, I mean, fine. With chili on them. Shit, yeah. So you know, Chupacabra. All, all, all those people yeah. in such a small space and you couldn't find better shows or talent. Just walk down the street. Man on the street could be the new best fucking <laughs> show in Puerto Rico. Just walk around. Because they haven't done that yet, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. A couple days, you could walk the entire thing. Just walk the entire thing. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Just talking to people. Mm-mm-mm. That's the new show. I'm telling yeah, you right now. I would, I would at least have a bicycle. Uh, travel channel. Don't steal my shit. Okay. <laughs> Dude, did I ever tell you that I emailed I emailed the, the Discovery Channel one time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did I ever tell you about this? I don't think so. So, Tim Monteleone, I had, I had this joke that I had written about how I wanted to do, like, uh, a Puerto Rican slash redneck uh chupacabra hunting case uh whatever i had like a weird name about it and it was gonna be uh i was i I wrote this super shitty joke about how tim montaleon was gonna be like my backup guy and eric was gonna be like like the stunt guy like he's gonna go try to catch the chupacabra and the first episode was gonna be here in springfield missouri at the breakfast pub where they had the a dish called the chupacabra and i had this wild thing and I actually sent it to the Discovery Channel in an email. Okay. And they never fucking replied. And then like two weeks later, an episode on another show, which obviously that was recorded probably months and months ago. Yeah. Uh, had Finding El Chupacabra. And, I fucking... and you're like, son of a bitch. Get my lawyer. Get him on the phone. Get him on the phone. That's so. I just want there to be like an executive there that got a promotion off of that super because he happened to open the right email. He was like, "Guys, I have an idea." Listen, a Puerto Rican, a redneck, and, and a dude just full of tattoos, <laughs> covered in neck tattoos, boss. Jimmy, I'm listening. Mm-hmm. 
and look for the chupacabra. Maybe, and he, well, we don't actually address the tattoos. He might have been in prison. Maybe he was. Maybe, maybe he was. We don't even address it. We don't know. But he's very useful. <laughs> and he's very funny. And then they're going to start taking for the chupacabra <laughs> in Springfield, Missouri. Jim, you better be going somewhere with this. <laughs> and they find it in Puerto Rico. You know that there was an executive up there pissed off that was like, this motherfucker is about to take my job. One hundred percent. You're trying to take my job? So, so I tagged them and everything. Nothing ever happened, thank God. But if I ever did like a Discovery Channel thing, they would never do it because I'd like to do like a cigar thing. Like yeah. get paid to go to different cigar places. Show well, maybe the them. History Channel because you could go over the history of cigars. Or even of that company. Yeah, but no, because of because of the big tobacco stuff, like they would. Yeah, that's a really. They specific. won't, dude. They won't. It would have to be. History, like, history. Who's gonna screw with the history? Well, channel? but we'll that's we'll try to have Quesada, like you uh, know, it's run by the mob. The history <laughs> channel. Nobody's gonna mess with them. Aliens, aliens. How come no one? You ever notice how no? What a ever... fucking swing, from... <laughs> Well, aliens like <laughs> aliens like cigars. I mean, <laughs> chupacabra, <laughs> the fucking <laughs> cigars, <laughs> jail, aliens. <laughs> That's the fucking thing. What I can deal with every day. I'm doing this like a fucking half hour conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that was less than five minutes. Yeah, that was. <laughs> this, this fucking podcast is brought to you by ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Adderall is one of our sponsors. Uh, <laughs> God, no. Thorn. 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 Thorn is our they do not, yeah, they do not make Adderall. Oh, man. <laughs> so what about aliens? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, how come no one ever really talks about like how the History Channel used to be like, and here we have this, and then it was like, and last night, Alien got me, and he fucked me in the butt. Like We just went from one end to another to then mermaids. And like, what the fuck? No one ever talks. I don't feel like people talk about that enough. True. Don't know. People don't talk about mermaids enough. <laughs> Did you fuck a mermaid, Cameron? Uh, I mean, it have it red hair or is it blonde or brunette? It, does it matter? Like, do you want? Do you not want to know what half is the mermaid? I'm sure it smells like fish anyway. I was gonna say, uh, do I have consent? Like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. cons- like, yeah. like, 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 do we have like a connection or just like, uh, like, it's like a, a mermaid? We meet each other on the. She saves me from a ship wreck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know bro, if I have the be, shells to cover this, so. bro. That would be expensive. You'd have to have a a, a water uh, tank, like and conch shells. And- yeah, I don't know. Like, why? Why would I have to have a water tank? Like, the little mermaid can sit on a rock, so she can be above ground. Like it just, I'd have, have, to, be, have to be near a body of water, probably. Yeah. Here comes the Disney van. I already can see it. No, I'm just saying, like you know, I, 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 I see myself. Well, they, yeah. I know mermaids sing really well. I don't you know. Know that? Well, I seen the well, mermaid. I seen the little mermaid. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Houston. He had a whole he thing spent before... seventeen years on sea. That's true. I will give him that. He was a sailor. He did spend seventeen years, like in a fucking ship with a bunch of other men. So he does have a lot sometimes of expertise. There are, sometimes there are women. I like how you said sometimes, like you guys like got rid of them ever also. Like sometimes they were, but then we ran them out the top. <laughs> sometimes sometimes yeah. they'd sneak in. <laughs> like, oh. we yeah, some, they, did. they did. We had someone yeah. on the podcast that was one of like the first Marine females uh that were like led into the Marine Corps or whatever, something like that. I can't remember. What are mermaids Marine females? Uh, no, they are. I don't think. They are. They call them Wookies. Actually, I don't know if that's even a correct term anymore. Now that the Marine Corps is getting rid oh, of it's, certain it's, things, it's better than wasp, I guess. I meant, I meant mermaid because it's a marine animal, like it's underwater no. marine female. Yeah, no. I think it works. It's okay. I'm too dumb to understand it. Just blame it on the blame it on my like marine biologists, like underwater creatures. Well, you couldn't call marine. it a seal. Because that that's what you're taking. Yeah, this is a marine female. So okay, Jesus. now do you do you have a preference on which half is the fish? Yes, that's what I want to know. Okay, wh- which half do you want to be the fish? The bottom. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because the bottom part. But why? Because the bottom part. There's there's no asking. Why are you asking? Have me? you ever? Stuck- are you are you why? No 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. My question is: Have you ever have you ever uh, stuck your dick in a fish? 
Because I've stuck my dick in pussy. And if I'm going to have to fuck something, I'd rather the bottom half be something I'm used to and the top half just flop around. Like, I don't care. You didn't say you want to make out and make love to a mermaid. You said you want to fuck one. And I'm just trying to break it down into like, I know to expect that the bottom half is, is, is female. So, like. Well, they have a mouth. Yeah. Oh God, no. But it was it was oh, fucked. It wasn't gonna blow down. It was fucked. So I mean, I've I've never fucked like a, a bounce. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know. If, I don't know. You, you wouldn't be able to live in Springfield, bro. I don't know if fishes have uh, vaginas. We need to call. We need to call. We need a uh, biologist. Yeah, a marine need, biologist. We need to call. Uh, yeah. no, 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 no. I know who could have the answer. Um, Kalen. Oh My yeah. Phone. Yeah. Okay, I know someone who's got the answer to that. Actually, we have a an entomologist and like a on speed dial. Yeah, she's she's like, do fish have vaginas? <laughs> you don't have to call anyone. We could just Google it. <laughs> Why do you have I don't a, trust Google? You have like a, you have like a you don't have sex. Fish don't have sex. I thought they were asexual. Oh, no. no, no, no. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't fuck a fish. I'm sorry. I can't. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Either way, so what, if just, the, what if the top part was? You know, it's just fishy, you know. <laughs> it's too fishy for me, you yeah. know. It would have a smell. I don't know, like you. If, if it's the bottom half, like depending on I guess where where you find bottom half starting, like you could do the, the fish doggy style. That's like two pieces. Yeah, fucking Christ. That's it'd be fish style, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, not the bottom half. <laughs> fish style would, would have to be like the the bottom half is a mermaid. Well, if she flicks her tail, that's fish. Well, no, that's it. Not, top, top half fish, bottom half person. Finally, uh, you're over here trying to phone a friend. It's weird. <laughs> I just, I, I think that uh, that's not. This isn't who's mil- who wants to be a millionaire. You can't phone a friend. I can phone wherever the fuck I want. Fuck it. <laughs> but it seemed unnecessary. It was like. So I think we've talked about mermaids enough. Yeah. Are you satisfied? I don't know. Welcome to the the new Rico and Eric Mermaid podcast. <laughs> where <laughs> would you rather? <laughs> And but then we aliens, aliens, aliens on the other hand. <laughs> they fucking call people and try to disprove you. Here's one thing I've actually thought about lately. Aliens? I was, no, That's a I'm hell of a reading... segue, man. <laughs> no, serious. Uh, you know how some people have like emotional support animals, right? Mm-hmm. And granted, listen, I have one. So fuck you if you think this isn't funny. Um, I read an article that a lady was trying to bring her emotional support iguana into an airplane Mm -hmm. here's the thing obviously it was in florida number one secondly do you think that if dinosaurs were still around someone would have an emotional support t-rex or try to have an emotional support t-rex um not in the house that's a hell of a leap from iguana to t-rex If you went raptor, I could maybe yeah, like uh, stegosaurus. No, no, they eat grass. Yeah, they eat grass. You're not gonna fuck with a triceratops. It'll fucking kill you. I will train it. I will love it, and I will call it George. Really, you can almost do that now. Get a rhinoceros. (laughs) You're trying to kind of you put a saddle on it. There you go. Boom. What is this? What is this? Black Panther? Like. I don't know. Like, well, it's not Jurassic Park. <laughs> you want to try serious? I, I, I like. You're like, what is this Black Panther? That's not realistic. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that. But no, I don't think I don't, we should. We should go to Uganda. How many people we have listening in Uganda? I want a Triceratops. Hundred <laughs> percent. Triceratops all day. Well, he, I have the a way you can get one. You have to find some uh, fossilized tree sap. That happens to have a mosquito in it. That happens to have bitten through the fucking scales or whatever's on a fucking a triceratops. Triceratops and all these different. That's what pissed me off about that movie the most was like, really, a mosquito that was like this big with like got through the fucking a, hide of yeah, all a these single different... mosquito. Not yeah. A, yeah, a single mosquito. But got through all these fucking different dinosaurs like that. Just it... mosquito was such a whore. Well, it... maybe it, maybe it, maybe it uh, landed on his lip. God damn it, Eric. <laughs> I don't know what that means. On the lip. That's a, that's the, the part. Every, on the... every mammal, the one of the softest parts of most mammals are their lips. 
literally their lips and like this part right here. Can you not say that's so sexy? <laughs> so I was, so I was like, you know, on every mammal, the softest part of the lips. Every mammal. On every mammal. No, they were reptiles. I don't fucking know, bro. I'm just yeah. making shit no, up as we go. So you got sexy for no reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't see educational content in there, but no, you were like, nope. He just want to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know the lip. You know the lip. I'm in sweatpants. I'm thinking we're trying to get you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, dude. On a serious note, what do you... What do you <laughs> Let's just change you. On a serious note. <laughs> Let me just let's just switch subjects again. Yeah. <laughs> Back to politics. So, so fairies, do you do you think? They... Oh, bro. Speaking of fairies, that's what I was like when I had that that fever. Like, I start like seeing shit. It was pretty fevers, bad. dude. Yeah, I had a fever. Was it a fever. green? No, no fairies. Green fairies. No, it was like translucent. Like when I when I had like the fever, like I just like it was so bad. Like I don't remember much. Cause it was like 105 degrees. Bridget was telling me, uh, and it was like I would like like see like a glow, dude. I shit. it was bad. No, yeah. dude, it was bad. It was pretty well, bad. I don't know if it's just a glow. I don't know if that's a fairy. Well, dude, like I, it was just so bad, dude. Like, and I could feel the fever coming too. Was the shitty part. Like you just gotta like ride through it. Cause there's a there was a shortage of Tamiflu in, okay. in town. So it's like there weren't, dude. How long ago was this? Two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was dude, speaking the last Spanish. Month, he yeah, could, dude, he like, couldn't like, speak. No, the, really, he couldn't. No, speak. really, he's an interpreter. I know he speaks Spanish. No, 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 no he no, could no, only no, speak like, Spanish wife, when he had the fever. Like, the fever, like, dude, it, I can't explain how it felt. It felt, and it was a flu. It was just a flu. Yeah, uh, really bad. It Jeez. just, it just like, yeah, I just felt like shit. Mm -hmm. And like, my wife was like, she'd call my friend Danny, and she's like, he's fucking talking in Spanish, and like, oh, he's saying he's hot. Just throw him outside. <laughs> solid, solid. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's freezing. So I just fucking, outside. Nothing else you can do. Fucking throw him out. He's saying this. Shut the fuck up. Like, dude. Mm -mm. So, so your wife doesn't speak Spanish? No. Okay. No. That's why she's going to college. That's fun. It like, is. That's, like, that's got to be like. Do you do that when you like walk off saying something in Spanish? He's going to cancel. You're like, <laughs> well, here's the thing: is when we first uh, started. This is a, this is. A, a, I've never told the story before. When when I first like started dating Bridget, I was doing tra the trafficking cases and I never told her. So like she was like, what do you do for a living? I'm going to trip for who the school is. And then <clears throat> one day I got a call while I was in the car with her and I had to translate, interpret something. I'm sorry. And she <laughs> the whole thing, and the lady was like, oh, my God, thank you. We don't know what we do without you, Richard. You're so awesome. So at that point, it's like, oh, you already know, too, that I've done this for a while because this person opened their mouth. Mm -hmm. And like at that point, I had to tell her and I was like, well. That's going to have to be go on like, because I'm going back on Tinder and nope, by God, she was like, oh, okay, that's cool. But n never, ever, ever that I thought like, I was like, Ugh, that's a hell of a thing to say. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Talk Spanish. <laughs> I don't know if you ever I tried to tell me that Spanish. you're a uh, comedian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'd much rather be like, oh, I help with like court, the courts and things like that versus, uh. I work for about an hour a day and I drink while I do it. And, uh, not, not in an yeah. alcoholic way, but I know I, 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 I do it uh, because it makes me hate my life less. <laughs> I, um, it's so funny. Like, it's hard to explain that I'm an interpreter. That's a pretty good job. Like most people would, would yeah, but like, yeah, interpreter, the, dude, yeah. it's just, I remember when I was like, <clears throat> I remember like when, when like people would introduce me to chicks when I got single and I just talk like I just talk to you, you know, like if I can't carry a conversation with you, I don't because I like to talk, you know, like me and him, like we when we travel together, dude, it feels like six hours. It feels like nothing because we're just talking and running jokes and bullshitting. And like, dude, chicks, you would, I would tell chicks like, oh, I'm an interpreter, blah, blah, blah. And they just be like Facebook stalking me. And I'm like, dude, you should have ran a background check on me before. Like, I don't know why you're doing it now, but. Yeah, dude, right, right in front of me. Look for, yeah, dude, no, right in front of me. Yeah. People would look for excuses to try and like, no, nah, sorry, not interested. Bye. Okay, cool, no problem. Bye. Thanks for dinner. Like, that's why I've never done online dating because, like, mm -hmm. I can't imagine that 
anybody who sees me on paper is going to be like, yeah, I want to smash that. Like it's got you got to meet me and like it's really hard personality thing. Yeah, it's really. And, and the thing is, is like I feel like for me, it was uh because I did it for a long time. Like when I was in the army, that was like the best way to fucking like find people because I don't like going out. Yeah, I hate bars. One thing I do like, I don't think I don't think you even know this. I like karaoke. Karaoke. I love karaoke. Shit. I fucking love karaoke, bro. Yeah. Fucking love karaoke. I don't need to get drunk. I just like karaoke. It's just like the shit that I like. But I don't I don't go out much, dude. So it was like really hard for me to like like meet people. Like at least you I remember we talked about this. Mm-hmm. You like would go out in town and like you'd have dinner and stuff like that. Yeah. Like but mm-hmm. different times, dude. Like mm-mm. and again, a lot of people, man, when you're in the military, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Because there's chicks out there that are trying to like get pregnant just to be with you to get benefits. Yeah. So well, not even to be with you, just to get benefits. Yeah, yeah. They don't. A lot of people don't care, man. A lot of yeah. people. I get that. Care. So this is one of those things. As a comedian, I don't. They kind of they <laughs> turn chicks off right away, apparently. So yeah. If you're a comedian. Yeah. Uh, explaining it like unless you're like the headliner and they're like, okay, mm-hmm. he's the big guy, but like any other spot, they're just like, yeah, cool. That's a that's a. So what else do you do? What? Oh, you don't have another job. Okay. Do you need a place to stay? <laughs> it's like here's a dollar you for your service. <laughs> They're so confused. They're like, war? Like no, and like uh you see all these like documentaries over like it's like, oh yeah, comics crush so much ass. Like my entire set is like self-deprecating. So there's nobody <laughs> after a show who's like hears my set and goes, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Dude, you gotta no, get unless, you gotta unless get you you're, a mommy, like a like an older chick. No, unless like you're top tier type comedian, if you're going like the downstream and opening like yeah. Larry the Cable Guy or somebody like that. Or I love Dave how Chappelle, you, you, I said mommy or, kink and you're like Larry the Cable Guy. I'm like, this is great. Mm-hmm. That's not where I was going with that, but okay. I I I could not fathom a mommy kink. I that would be terrible. I, it's pretty weird. Yeah. I it's not let me I don't think you would it's look not weird. my thing. To me, it's yeah. pretty weird. It's not yeah. my thing. I uh yeah, I could do it. Some people like it, bro. No. Some no. people like it. No, no, I'm not saying this motherfucker's like, no, don't look at me. Don't no. look for solace in me. No. <laughs> like, no. Like, my mom stabbed me. So like <laughs> mommy came for me. I was like, I don't want to laugh. I don't I don't really need that. I don't even fear for my safety all the time. <laughs> like that's 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 intense. Like, I don't want to do that. Like <laughs> was your mom Hispanic? Like Norman Bates. Do what? Yeah. Is your mom Hispanic? Was my mom Hispanic? <laughs> Brown, <laughs> parking lot. <laughs> El Malo. Yeah, I get. It. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so crazy. I love having our comic, our like our comic. God damn it, I can't think. Our comic homies, because it's like you never know, man. You just never know. Never know like, what you're going to say. Yeah. You just never know. It's like when we have like a historian or something like that, it's it's like, okay, like this is okay. Yeah. What are yeah. we going to talk about? Obviously, we know what we're going to talk about. We have someone promoting a book. It's like easy. You bring a comic and it's like, fuck. yeah. It's mermaids and aliens. It's mermaids yeah. and aliens and flying dildo. It's like it's right up to getting canceled. Like you don't know. You're like, okay, well, we're just gonna go right up the line. I think, line, right I think there's the only been one yeah. time that like our stuff was like someone was like, Hey, this episode got flagged or something. Oh yeah. Um and and I can't even remember. It was a while ago, but whatever. It was like no, you know who it was. Oh yeah, Tommy. It was Tommy. Cause yeah, because he, he talked to he, he talked shit about, about the DAA. DAA or yeah. something. And Tommy Chong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But but obviously, Operation uh, Pipe Smoke Pipe what Bong was it? Operation Bong or Bong or something or like glass pipe, pipe dream something pipe dream like that. yeah Operation Pipe um, dream yeah you can fucking Google it and he was explaining it and I was like oh like this is real like this they really did this to you like that's wild to me yeah you and even look like, it up because they were I think that's what they were wondering if he was making this up yeah and then Spotify's like no. <laughs> no, we are. We can do that. Yeah, yeah. Can make. yeah that, okay. Uh, but they listened to it, and then they said, and then they went ahead and put it on. So the yeah, it was it the was, only one was, that didn't do that it was, was like um, when it opened, like when it came to, it was like it had like thirty three downloads, and I'm like, 
it just got approved. Like, how does it have 33 downloads? That makes no sense. Yeah. But again, it could have been also people that hit it on like automatically download or whatever. There's a million things. But yeah. there's just like weird things like that that you look at that you're like, oh, I see the game. Mm-hmm. And again, it's like everybody has different things that they do, man. It's like musicians. I think their lawyers had to l- listen to it. Or I don't know. It was something like They had that. to run it through probably somebody to be like, hey, is this is this going to bring a problem? And that's so weird. Super weird, super weird, super weird. Now I just want to like, be like, I just want to start to see what I want to see what I can say now and just see if I can get. It wrong. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Harrison Broad Street, that when we had him here, oh he yeah, said, he said like I think it was like the seven words that you can't say on TV or something like that. Yeah, yeah to George just, Carlin. Like, yeah, motherfucker. Like he just immediately, I was like, we're live. Check up, fuck, and then, uh, Orban Lamaster, when we had him the first time, he said, uh. What was it? Either Richard. He goes, Richard, stop saying the N word. Stop saying the N word. <laughs> like as soon as we're like, we're live. It's Richard, stop saying the N word. It's just like, I have a question. Are you allowed to say the N word? Like, I've, I've, I know, like, as a, lot a of Puerto like, Rican? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know the uh, rules. I've had a few people tell me that I can't, but it's just the, when, once I've been explained like the, the whole history of it, I'm like, uh, uh, I'll just say it behind closed doors. Um, <laughs> I'll just, oh, that's, that's weirdly white of you. That's what's oh, good, sir. I'm saying yeah, that, that you didn't even have a black dog. Yeah. white people yeah. that's that saying uh, behind closed doors. I'm only I'm over there to say I'm only as white as I look until you look. I'm only as white as you think until you see my name, and then you're like, this dude a hundred percent needs a green card. This is fake right here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I've been asked for my paperwork, bro, before at a at a government facility. I was like, I I didn't know you were Puerto Rican for like a, a hot minute. Like, yeah, uh, I, I don't look like it. I don't act like it either. I don't have the the flag either on my car, so or a crown. I say, I I, I did find out the new way to like uh find out if someone is Puerto Rican is I'm gonna ask okay. them to describe how they make a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and if they describe the chili dog, right? Oh, you're yeah. Puerto Rican. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Yeah, it's called a goony dog. I don't, yeah. I'm having a good day, man. I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little buzzed. I'm having a good day. Fuck it. I got a new girlfriend. You know, college chick. <laughs> she's gonna, yeah. Bridget's gonna listen to this and be like, "I am a sucker." So if you see, see me, I wear your coat now. Yeah. If you see me in KY three. Just no. Yeah. Just like, no. He'll be. Well, he had a coming. He kept talking about his college girlfriend. And... Yeah. It's only on Monday and Wednesdays, though. She's going to be on Snapped, and there's going to be a whole bunch of women going, Yeah, good for you, girl. Trying to better your education. He's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sexualize your education. Yeah, instead of KY, it'll be KY3. <laughs> oh, man. That would be her dream right there. So do you guys like usually have like a format or do you, cause you mentioned like historians, like, you know, what they're going to talk about. Like, I didn't know. Like, Well, we had a historian about uh, the, the samurai. Okay. So we, we were focused on the samurai. It just depends, man. Like I, you know, and, nin- and ninjas aren't real. Well, uh, first of all, I don't think you can use that word. Um, uh, <laughs> and I can say that in word. I mean, ninjas aren't real. They're ninjas not, aren't a thing. What, 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 I don't uh, know if you've ever fucking met these specific four turtles, but uh, <laughs> y'all can fuck right off because uh, I've seen them. I've seen it. I was also I I think said, it. Yeah, this is what I said. I think I said that. I was like, yeah. the ninja turtles. And he's like, what? Like, what were, what were like ninjas? So what it was is it was, this is what, what Michael the, Ward told us. And the he's historian, a, he's the guy a, who studies. A very well-renowned historian in, yeah. in Japanese culture. And he's been on Netflix. He has a show there. And what he indicated is that, and I'm paraphrasing because this was a while ago and we've had a lot of other guests, but we're having him back, was that it was a, a clan or a family that they were like, hey, we've had these ancient scrolls for thousands of years that show with hand signals and this and that, and we can climb on walls and hide in the shadows. And we do CrossFit. And, 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 <laughs> there's there's more CrossFit. There's, there's more, more, more part four. four. There's more part but, four. Okay. You know, um, and people were like, yeah, you owe us this much money for being on our land. And people were like, yeah, shut the fuck up. Go away. And like, it just became a cult following. Uh, it's just like with the whole samurai thing, like samurais were pretty ruthless. Mm-hmm. Like, like if you look at the history of it, like samurais invaded Korea and advanced all the way to what is known as Seoul. And they just were fucking murdering people. 
Like it's the, yeah, the history with, of the with samurai. Swords, with yeah, swords, like, no less. <laughs> I even told Mike, I was like, I was like, how tall? Because like Japanese were like, is my height, like five five. Mm-hmm. So it's like he's like, well, they were pretty short, but like you know, the in Korea they were shorter historically and whatever. Like so, it's like they see these people and like the Japanese seem taller, and they're like, oh, I wonder what these nice people yeah, and just fucking murder me people. And I'm like. Whoa, what the fuck? That's what all of history is. It's just one place killing another place. And now we act like it's a big deal. Like, this is just. Oh, yeah. It's always no, been. It's always been doing. It's like yeah, nature. Yeah. Like, everybody thinks that nature is so fluffy and adorable. It's like, bro, nature should have, like, system of a down playing in the background. Like, it is fucking brutal. I don't understand. At, at least, at least a caution label. I mean. At least something, dude. Like, it's wild to me, dude. Like, how, how crazy nature is. I, uh. Literally. Uh, I did know. I did know samurais were like, just no remorse, no nothing, just cut through you and well, keep it's, it moving. It's more of well, like well, they had to have a uh, what they call him a a, a lord. They a samurai they, they could they not be by himself. The fu- yeah, because he would be a ronin. So <laughs> like they followed a lord, and there were some principles, and like that's what you would follow. And it was like very strict, and like they had a very strict diet. They had a very strict set of rules, and you trained fucking religiously you fucking Cro- crossfit train. again crossfit every day everything you're doing is japanese crossfit like you had <laughs> you had a specific diet you followed like a person that told you what to do they all had, fucking were just yeah. training all the time <laughs> yeah they all <laughs> wore nikes the fucking scroll next says and then you tell everyone about it all the time <laughs> <Fucking> <laughs> that's what that shit is okay that's good the only thing that i like to do is uh i i've always tried to write uh i had a joke for a while about it like yeah i don't know if you know this but uh ninjas weren't fucking real and i i can't remember it. i got it written down somewhere it was about something like how batman I, I went on a fucking tantrum trying to tell that Batman was basically an insurance agent that was scamming everyone in Gotham, and that's how he made his billions. Because think about that's it. brilliant. He just destroys shit all the time. He just and... destroys shit all the time as Batman, and he's like, ah, oh, the insurance Bruce Wayne shows up, he's like, Bruce uh, Wayne shows uh, up with the insurance claim. Well, you got a $2,000 deductible here, but let's see. I love that. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. brilliant. I told that joke one night and no one understood it. They're like, Batman insurance? I don't understand. I'm like, you're not nerdy enough. Like, I yeah. guess you just, I don't know. I need to explain it better, obviously. He I'm, probably had like a repair shop too. So the insurance would employ bro, his own business. Think yeah. about it. He owns it's lots of industries. Like, yeah. yeah. He owned like half of, of uh, fucking... Half of Gotham, yeah. He Gotham, bought her. I was, was going to call it Batmanville. <laughs> Tell her it is. That's not, a town next door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, I just linked out there, but uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure he had like everything. He had like plumbers come in to do that. He had fucking. He probably ran the union too. Yeah. Well, I was wondering, like, why nobody's ever made like a poor Batman, just like a guy that's like. They did. It's called Blank Man. I actually that flashed through my head when I fucking I was like, oh shit, I remember Blank Man. Uh, wasn't that wasn't that uh, successful? I well, poor it. Batman is not that successful. It's, uh, you know. Oh my god! Like if you uh if you show up and like you're beating somebody's ass and you're just in like a leotard, like. Well, Elliot, people are not gonna, gonna automatically assume that you're a superhero. In a paper bag with two little holes. <laughs> yeah, the unknown hero. Or like <laughs> just a fucking like masquerade mask. But what if you had like really good like fighting skills? Yeah, like, 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 like you show up like, like a, yeah. A, a, what if you did CrossFit deal? all the time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just CrossFit all the time. That's what all these like, CrossFitters are training for. It's like just they're gonna put a, a fucking. Poor Batman in every city. We didn't. We did. It's a movement we don't know about. Have Batman. you seen? Have you seen these uh these superheroes that walk around the streets and whatnot in in, in other states? Have you seen this shit? Uh, I've seen the one. I remember the one you're talking about no, no, in no, uh, Florida. About. In that's Florida, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's no. what I'm talking about. You haven't seen this, uh-uh. bro. Oh Hold yeah. On. I got to show. Okay, you. when you say superhero, how how? Bro, it's a dude dressed up as a superhero. And he doesn't visit hospitals. They do that in Missouri at least once a year. <laughs> Hold on. That's not it. That is, I hope not. <laughs> we love God. That is not it. That does not scare anyone. Superhero. Here we go. 11 years ago. No, no, no. There's. Hold on. Oh my God. The real life superheroes. Here's one. Let's, let's watch it. I want to see. Hold that. on. The Black Widow? Hold on. Can I. Yeah, Doctor. Yeah, it's cool. Can it's you cool. do that can, one? Yeah, yeah, we can do that one. We can do okay. that one. Do what one? 
We have to, it has to be uh, open source. So we open source first share. So go up to your filters and just go to Creative Commons and then you can have everything there that you can use. Okay, then. You're going to have to teach me that. Hold on. Purple Rain, Phoenix Jones, random camera guy, awesome boots. We're ready to patrol. Mm-hmm. I'm Thanatos, Dark Avenger. I look after the people on the street. Did he just fucking All say his name is Thanatos? I do what I can. Where God! I can. That's so underwear now rain. Bulletproofing. When I'm out in the field, I wear a level 3 Bulletproof bullet thing. resistant vest. Stabproof plates. When I fight crime, obviously I don't wear a dress or heels. If you're going to buy a vest, I feel like you should just buy an expensive one. They're worth it. Or buy one of these. It's a $10,000 bulletproof riot shield that takes a shotgun rounds at point blank range. This is my utility belt that I wear when I'm out on patrol. Hey, can you pause that? I carry a variety of. Can we just talk about a couple things here? <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number one. You can't tell her the secrets. Let her go, let her go, go ahead. Confident in you. That, that shield takes shotgun shells at point blank range. Like, he's. So somebody on Etsy got that motherfucker. It's full of like it's like a half of a phone book. He's like, yeah, that's a shotgun shell. I'm sure it doesn't stop a fucking shotgun shell. Like it's Batman had science. He's like, yeah, I might. He's like, yeah, I got this and fucking on the internet. It's like a tank. I don't know, but there, it would have to be like level four. I think level three could take a shotgun. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100. It's been years since I studied that. All right, let's keep. My favorite thing is she's like this vest thingy. I'm like, oh dear God, no. Yeah, well, that exudes so much confidence. She's focused on the work. She's not trying to get all technical. <laughs> she, she could go into the fucking Kevlar threads and how all that works. She's not gonna do that. Go on. Uh, Items on my utility belt, my cigarette lighter to help people start fighters, cell phones. Fucking copyright, bro. This is pretty cool. It's a little electric taser. Shocking weapon. It's kind of fun. Small kit to pick up evidence. This is my pepper grenade. In some situations, you buzz again. A regular pepper spray, which I have in there. Here we go. Small kit to pick up evidence. Can you imagine a fucking judge? <laughs> Where does evidence come from? Any company? Skeletor fucking picked it up. <laughs> he did it. He did it in Costco. Says the the command is intact. <laughs> we use a regular sandwich bag to oh, put it in. It gets, it gets so much better. It gets so much. <laughs> it's her only fans. <laughs> Or we get a big crowd, people, everybody wrong fighting. I'm not going to run in there. I don't want to get killed. Make sure you point it away from yourself and you just roll it right in. And a couple of grenades goes off. There's the crowd. Everybody stops fighting. Also carry marbles. Okay, one more. <laughs> How many you pepper just grenades? Roll it in. You just roll yeah, it you just. Has she ever rolled a fucking <laughs> cylinder before? <laughs> <Straight>. <laughs> Just roll <laughs> like it's a fucking basketball. <laughs> and why didn't the person film this go? How many of those have you used? Because I guarantee you, fucking <laughs> negative two. She's never fucking used one. Oh, like, just roll it. <laughs> they can be thrown, or they can be dropped in a narrow confined space for people up behind you. Every day I wear the same suit. I mean, I wash it, but it's the same thing. She always changes up the game. I wish she'd just pick one out and keep it the same. It's I'm gonna call that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Let's say what patches on this arm represent the different uh, real life superhero groups that I belong in and operate with. Uh, can you pause this again? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> did he get kicked out of the group and go to a new one? Is he a part of all of them at the same time? They did long enough to get the patch. Well, dude, it could, be, <laughs> well, it could be like the Justice League. You could be part of the Justice League and the Green Lantern Corn and then be an Atlantean. And an, like, it could be like that. But, and then, you know, yeah. you probably start out with Young Justice. The threshold to join these groups. <laughs> that, that motherfucker's in all of them. Like, they're like. <laughs> Wanders somewhat aimlessly around the city, you know, looking for crime, hiding in a bush. I don't hide in bushes for that. Okay. I'm on buildings or something. I'm not in a bush. So I came on the scene. I was like, you know what? There is a better way to do this. So I just fucking shit on hiding in a bush. But he's on buildings. What fucking build? What town is this? What building is he on? And how long did it take him to get up the fucking fucking at the fucking parties uh, oh, watch God. crime in his area did you imagine does he that jump in- off the building or does he use a fire escape to- oh, the crime going on I, let me get to the fire escape you imagine bro like <laughs> you see somebody in springfield like a thousand <laughs> can i can imagine that yeah, i can yeah there's a lot of meth heads yeah the city of seattle 
what kinds of crimes are happening, if the police respond. And I factor in all this different data. And I say, you know what, this is where we need to be. And that's how we find crime. You don't need to have a costume and a mask to be a superhero. No Just shit. Get involved. Be extra sort of eyes and ears for the police. Phone in things when you see it. Help someone out. Touch someone's life. Okay, I don't think you should touch anybody's life. <laughs> All right. Not with that mask. No, no, that. <laughs> he's not Thanos. He's thin. <laughs> that <laughs> like. <laughs> I love the tie. Though. I love the tie. Like, I. <laughs> I, now I have to Google and see that guy's been murdered. Again. <laughs> yeah, how recent yeah. is that? Is it five years ago? <laughs> because my weird fucking old lady panty mask was just was too loose around my eyes. If he is a witness to a crime, does he show up in the suit? Oh my god! Yeah, with like the mask on, is like, it? You have to keep mask on. Like, I can't take the mask off. I can't take the mask off. Thanatos, fucking Roger from accounting. <laughs> you know he's a court reporter. Oh my god! <laughs> and her explaining how they find the crime. Well, we just she said something that is like, and then we just calculated by that. It's like, bitch, you sit there with a fucking scanner. <laughs> and like, it's not even like a real scanner. It's like the one on your phone that you can like download the app. <laughs> And also, she had no scars. Like, she had no marks on her body at all. Bitch, you are lazy or a chicken, okay? <laughs> Get some marks, okay? Hey, she's got pepper spray grenades. I guess. Which that, it, it, it could be a rugged It looked like calamine lotion that she put a fucking <laughs> top on. And she just got rolled in. <laughs> Where do they get this shit? Where do you get a fucking you can buy grenade. stun grenades. You can buy stun grenades for like I think a hundred bucks each. You can actually get that. You can that. Like licenses? No. no. You can, you can just buy a flashbang. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. You ever been hit with one? Yeah, I mean, all the time. No, <laughs> my uncle blew up a, a barn of those lab. That's pretty loud, but I thought, thought... <laughs> no, Jesus Christ. We got hit with one. Uh, Sean was the one. Sean was the one who hit me with it because Sean was my instructor. Oh, yeah. yeah, when I went through SRT course for the army, my instructor was my best friend. Sean Davis. And I remember uh Sean, like we got in like a room that was like this big, and they're like, Okay, guys, let's say you walk into a room like this. Do they have sound and... blankets? Because the like, flashbang wouldn't be as effective. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, okay, Not hey, a room like that. <laughs> there's, like, there's like six of us, and there's like my team. And they're like, grenade, grenade. And like fucking, he just throws a flashbang. Like each instructor threw one. Like they threw four. It's like ding, ding, ding. You're like, oh god like what the fuck and you just eat it like it's fucking it is not comfortable did he just roll it in super easy they just, like they just yeah the the flashbang it's a flashbang, cylinder it's a it's cylinder just, you just roll it in a straight line you just roll it it's like uh, you want to like because uh, you want you want him to to like like because it, it'll normally it's just one or two seconds man that's it yeah that's it. But those one or two seconds, like, can fucking you can, matter. You can be, you can be in a room. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, a lot of times when you you don't want to throw it on the floor, it'll. A lot of times it's like, because it's literally one second. Once you pull that pin and you throw, it's like you hear it and you just fucking go. Um. But yeah, you with those, they're they're pretty pretty loud. You get used to it after a little bit, though. I'm sure. Well, I know the the stick that he had, the stun gun stick. Yeah. That it's actually. Is one like that looks like a night night stick, but it's a taser. Yeah, they actually have that, and like you don't need a license taser. for that either. The taser doesn't surprise me, but like, like the the, the, the fucking like pepper There's, grenades, like the shield surprised me. For ten thousand dollars, you can just get one of these. And I, don't know, I was like, that great. Better be, uh, <laughs> that better be a level four shield. I don't know. It looked like one of those fucking diorama things. That you fucking, <laughs> Dude, it looked. Well, he had his super. Okay, yeah. Then I sent that out above. I wear the suit every day. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. Nobody's don't gonna wash it. Nobody's gonna body mold fucking rubber to you more than once. Okay. <laughs> and then it's like she or like she wears something different all the time. Like so she's less fucking spottable. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> You think the cops look at him and go, yes, I do. I think that he is a fucking liability to every investigation he's ever been involved in, which I'm guessing is very few. Like, what? what is he fucking... Talk to the guy in the building. Did he see anything? The criminal, how bad you would get your ass beat in jail. You're like, what happened? Well, the fucking superhero brigade got me. <laughs> which one was it? Was it was it Thanos or whatever? Yeah, Thanatos. <laughs> was it Thanatos? Yeah. I want to start a fucking supervillain club now. Don't be superhero. Let me supervillain. 
instead of like instead of like fighting and fucking them, or we're just gonna like go get all the actual real criminals and be like, listen, here's what we're gonna do. And fucking you mastermind this shit and be like, I'm fine. go after the heroes, yeah. I'm I'm the, I'm the Jaboker. <laughs> this is a weird world. And I blame Marvel. I do. <laughs> they make it look really fun to be a superhero. And then oh, you got God. people. And then they had the multiverse. It's like, so now anybody could literally be a superhero. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's been awesome having you, man. Yeah. I love is, having is you. Is it over? I'm sorry. If I... <laughs> no, I promise to. No, no. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to revisit the mermaid subject. No, no. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home make my costume. I gotta fight. <laughs> I gotta find superheroes. Then <laughs> I mean, but I'm gonna fight like really, start your own club. Yeah. Really mundane crime. I see a jaywalker. I'm just gonna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just close yeah. line him. Yeah. yeah. Hold, on. Hold, on. Hold on. As as a superhero, <laughs> breastfeeding, public. Like, is that is that? Would you fight that, or would you just be like, I approve? What are the statutes where I'm at? I guess it's gonna be. Gross. <laughs> Like, you know the rules, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna suplex like somebody like, randomly. Yeah, it's like a hippie grenola town. We're like, yeah, whip your tits out, like they're fine. But if you're in fucking, <laughs> you're in the south where they don't do that shit, fucking, you're getting bodied. <laughs> like crosswalk. That's my new fucking superhero name. I'm crosswalk. <laughs> I just want to do like low petty like. Somebody that doesn't pay the meter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> drive by the fucking like uh uh radar scanner too fast and it shows that you're above the speed limit i fucking like fucking gravel hook the back of your car and fucking i don't pull rips your fucking tongue off now you know that like, this is oh, this is gonna be a whole thing i'm gonna go make i'm gonna go make so many videos about what you did oh, you were going 46 and a 45 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. pay attention yeah. next time go get a puerto rican hot dog <laughs> Cameron, where can people find you? Uh, Casey is funny on everything. Casey's funny on everything. That's super cool that you got the whole the whole thing. Yeah, uh, I like that. It's uh, you're gonna add a, a superhero logo, probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I... <laughs> Listen, if we can fake perfect jawlines, we can be a fucking superhero, bro. Oh my head, I'm like I can't think of like any like really. You could be misdemeanor man. Any, you know, don't <laughs> misdemeanor man. Yeah, right, don't. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh, you got a parking ticket? <laughs> Wrong day for you, motherfuckers. Oh my god, misdemeanor man. Yes, Evan Johnson, everybody. 